welcome back to Art Books Review. Let's have a look at this baby. The Art of Mondo, what's that, you say? Well, if you don't know what this is, I'll tell you what it is. It's a book of the art of Mondo, as you would expect. It's published by Titan Books. I like the actual spine. I love, I've got a few red spined books, and this is another good one. Um, so Mondo is um, sort of a, can I use the word conglomerate of artists, a group of artists who are producing work. It's being released under the name of Mondo, um, and it's sort of, Things like um, movie po generally movie posters, I think sort of designs for uh, Blu-ray uh, cases, stuff like that. I don't know much more than that because that's my only experience of Mondo Art to date. And I've not actually looked through this book before either. So let's have a look inside, shall we, and see what's what. Yay! So I like these sort of vertical slices, um, like that design on the, on the cover. It's got a nice red inside. I've got these funky gloves on today, but actually I might struggle to turn the pages. That'd be a shame if I had to take them off. Let's see how we get on. I like the nice big bold colours. It's going to be spot the kind of film references, I think, as we go through here. It's going to be some fun. I might have to take these gloves off, so we'll see. So, look at this. Contents. I've got a forward, introduction, the early years. We've always got a year early years, haven't we, in these kinds of books. And then it kind of goes well from 2009 through to 2014. So it seems to be covering like a five year uh, period. And we've got an afterward and a poster index. So let's see what we've got. Here's the forward. The Iron Giant. That's nice, isn't it? My kids have seen that film. I haven't. I'm, I'm sad to say I should. So... This is all about how Mondo began. Shan't read it all, but there we go. It's talking about the in invention of Mondo. Um, so there's a variety of different artists who contributed to Mondo. I originally thought it was, foolishly, I originally thought it was one artist who called themselves Mondo, but no, it's a group. Close Encounters, the mashed potato plate. It came from outer space. Let's see what else we can see. The Blues Brothers, I like that. I think this book is just going to, a lot of it is just full pages, isn't it? And it's going to speak for itself. And it might be best if I just show you the pages without talking. Jaws, nyom, eating the word. So yeah, I'm going to just go through and show you some pages. If I can with these stupid gloves on, I probably won't wear these again. Good for keeping you warm, not good for looking through books and turning pages.
print quality. I like the fact they've done a lot of these, printed them in there uh, in full size. And now we've got, yeah, this is a poster index. So having just talked about them being full size, now they're thumbs. You can see them all at a glance. Uh, and the page numbers as well. That's quite nice. It's sort of like a visual index, I suppose. Very good. I like these incredible ones. I must have missed those when I flicked through. I didn't show them all, obviously. So that's a nice book. It's a big book. Some great art in it. I like Mondo. Um, yeah, my own my first experience of Mondo art was seeing designs on kind of uh, steelbook Blu-ray releases. Uh, but obviously, there's a lot more than just that under the Mondo umbrella. So yeah, great book. I hope you enjoyed that. I did. It was good. It's a good book. A lot in there. A uh, lot, lot to see. Lots of film. If you like films, I like films. Uh, it's good to just leaf through and see if you can spot the film on each page. So yeah, brilliant. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.